like a championship condition. I can't resist all this winning. It's like me and success built a farm. So let's stay free. I'm in a rush and TSA. They trying to x-ray me. What's up, everybody? It's your boy. We back, man. I'm almost here at the gym. And today, in this video, we're going to get into an arm day, man. I'm going to take you guys through the arm routine and how to really maximize the pump and get the most you can out your arms on an arm day. But we just focus fully on hitting the bicep, the tricep, and forearms. Also, we're going to introduce a little bit of, you know, back movements in there because the back is going to be engaged when we do pull-ups. So, obviously right now, I can't even use my back camera because this camera is suction cup sitting on it right now. But yeah, guys. And if you guys haven't, man, go watch my other video where I hit a leg day. I hit 335. Actually, I'm trying to hit 350 before my birthday in three months. We're in January right now, right? Yeah, so my birthday's in March. And I'll be hitting the big 3.5, guys. So, I want to see if I could squat 350. With no belt, no knee straps, and none of that. You feel me? So, I'm going to try to, you know, get my squat up there again. So, still, while I'm here, I'm going to maintain it. And that'll be a lifetime PR for me anyways. Because 335 was a PR for me. I don't think I hit 335 before. I hit 315 before, a long time ago. But I was never big into squatting. I was more into athletic movements and stuff. But... I knew I could get it. Anyone could leg press. I could leg press like 10 plates on each side. That ain't that. Like anyone do leg press, but squatting and hitting that depth and hitting, uh, you know, 350, no brace, no nothing and coming up at 6'3", that's what I want to do, guys. So I'm about to really get to that. You feel me? Ain't no other option. I got to get it. Can't do nothing but get it, man. So... But today, besides that, man, we're going to get this arm day. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you what I do, how we get into it. So you two can learn a few things that, you know, I implement. Because I'm trying to grow my arms bigger again, man. I'm trying to get them big as I can. So let's get it, man. I'll see you outside. Welcome back, guys. This is your boy, Eski. And we're back with another one. I guess we're having a voiceover for this video. There was so much music playing this day, and it was loud. And there was a whole bunch of that soft shit that I definitely wouldn't want you guys to listen to. Or I don't even know how anyone works out to it. But besides the fact, man, we starting off the day with triceps. I guess this day I didn't even record that many triceps work out, but they're mostly the same. We're going to do tricep pull downs right here with the straight bar overhead. Then we're going to do the ropes. Then I think I also did some single arms, cables, straight pull down for the triceps. Then we're jumping into some biceps, which was definitely what I hit most of the day. I'll show you. I definitely will show you guys all the other stuff I hit. We did alternating right there, and then we did jointed because it just started to feel better when I did them together. And it was just a whole overall better feeling. But, um, yeah, so we did these right here. And you can see, look, I'm squeezing at the top. I'm trying to hold tension and pause and really squeeze. So focus on that mind-muscle connection and on feeling the tension and squeezing. Feeling the muscle actually moving and doing something. Then we went to some overhand easy bar curls. As you can see, I'm you see I'm hopping the bar, I'm readjusting it in my hand and my grip just to get the most I can out of it. So I'm readjusting the grip as I go to feel which grip I get the most tension with where I want. So that overhand grip is definitely for them forearms. You know, you're still gonna hit the bicep a little bit, but mainly them forearms. You get them working. And just taking a little breather as you can see and this is what I call a superset you saw I took a breather blood is already pumping in them arms so 
as you can see once I jump back into the next set it's just gonna intensify that pump of whatever motion I'm doing that's why I do my supersets this way I don't wait around for 20 30 minutes yeah it could you could become exhaust much faster but you should be able to have a motor you should be able to have energy make sure you eat before you come uh, shirt coming off let's see I think we started flexing early out here let's go spread the wings out open up uh, still just learning man boom let's get it uh shoulder head tricep bang let's go I'm really thinking about competing again let's spread out boom you can see your boy 6'3 got a long ass muscle head so one thing I want to improve is my biceps. I definitely need to improve them. So we're going to keep hitting them hard. We might hit them twice a week this time. Boom. Damn, look. Y'all yo, yo, saw how my shoulder was just dancing, moving? That shit looked like there was... You could have rode a, a fucking wave on that thing. Somebody could have surfed that in the shoulder. <laughs> but nah, then after that little flex session, we jump right back into alternating dumbbell curls. Boom. With a little twist. And boom, you can see as I, cut, I get to the top, to that 25% end of the range, I slow down and I also hold it at the top. And boom, let's get it. Just working, man. Straight work. She yawning, but she in there. Con congratulations, shorty. You getting it. That's all that matters, man. Let's work. Boom, your boy just finished. I ain't even seen that yawn to now. <laughs> and I've been cutting up that video for a while to put it together for y'all. Because, like, well, just sipping through it and cutting it up to where y'all can see. Look, dropped the weight. Went back. Picked up some light ones. And this is what I like to call the throttle. The throttle twister. Because anyone that's riding the bike before or has history of riding any type of motor vehicle or power steering, two-wheeling thing, that's how you hand the throttle right there. You already know. Boom, look. Lean back into it. That shit's going to burn your fucking form. So make sure you do those. And then look. We jump right back into the other ones. These are a little heavy. I don't even know. What is this? What? 35s? 37s? But yeah. These are a little much easier. Damn, look. My arms even look beefy still. You can see, look. You can see the forearms cutting through while my left arm. So, because my right arm has more tattoos, but I still got them cuts in there. And these ones I do them in, and you can see me curling them really in and making sure I curl them in. Trying to target that inner part of the, you know, form. But it works out again. Look, drop the weight, jump right back into a superset. I always want to hit it when the blood is already flowing, the juices are still there, the motion is in. The ocean, well not, the motion is and whatever the fuck I was targeting, but yeah, you get the motion, you get the picture, you feel me? So make sure you do that, man. Make sure you drop the weight, take a little two, two second breather and get right to it. Look, a little light ass weight, but they felt like they was 40s with the tension and squeeze and then also jumping right into them after another set. Boom, we're back to a flex session. Lats popping still, boom, chest moves, damn, shoulders tricep you see them forearms y'all be getting hyped up bro i want to compete again but i don't know if i want to put myself through that grueling thing and it was grueling because i did it by myself and i was stupid i wasn't taking no advice so i didn't have a coach at the time you know i just did it with like 37 days i signed up for a competition and went boom spread out double biceps this is what i'm trying to hit boom shoulders eyes shoulders popping over my bicep heads coming in the connection and then you see the biceps I think I got great cuts, man, but I want to get better, man, like anybody. We have that dysmorphia like everybody, I guess, because you always think you're small as hell. I'm weighing like 240, 238, and I'll be thinking I'm small as hell. So I swear, I'll be walking in there some days, and I'll be like, I feel small as a bitch. Like, what the fuck, man? Be contemplating, bro. I don't know how many times I contemplate going to the dark side, bro. But I'm like, man, at the end of the day, I'm grateful, man. I got a great physique, and I did it all natty way, baby. So it doesn't matter, man. There's nothing I'm chasing. I'm getting too old to be chasing fucking just little game-ass competitions. I wanted to compete at a top level, but it's too late. kind of grateful I did that. I never, like, went down that road, and it was too late for me now. So, 
You feel me? I don't want to compete in the, um, what they call it, the masters and the old people. I want to compete with the young fellas, but my number's getting up there, so I won't be able to, guys. But here I just ended the day with some jumps. You know, I've been trying to get better, trying to get back to that five feet box jump, and I do one-step gathers. Sometimes I stay straight flat off. This four and a half feet, as you can see right there, guys. Your boy moving. I'm telling you, top-level athlete. My dad, bitch ass, would have stuck around and would have guided me when I was young. I don't know where I could have been, bro. I could have paid all three sports, bro. That's how talented I believe I was, man. And I got that dog in me. I could play ball, football, anything. Hockey, put me in a tennis court. Your boy could get it. Then I went back to jumping on four, you know, the four-foot one with a 12-pound ball. But, yeah, man, I was rambling about a whole bunch of shit, but I hope y'all enjoy this arm day. So, me taking a little water break to end this video. I'll see y'all on the next one, fellas. Peace out. Let's get it. Go get it, man. Grind hard, boys.